What's up, Dub Nation? It's your boy, A Duplicus Maximonius, once again, back again with another video. We're about to do something crazy today, guys. We have our brother SE600 set up and ready to go right behind us. About to get crazy with it. Once again, if you haven't purchased one yet and you're interested in purchasing one now or after you watch this video, use my link down in the description below to get yours. It helps the channel out a lot. Before we get started, just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right now. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm, it helps the channel, it helps me. I appreciate it, guys. Let's get into it. You guys talk, right? And I listen, but unfortunately, this PC is so slow that it does not have the capability um, because I've, I put some software on it to try to capture the screen and it does not have the capability. It's too slow to, uh, for, for it to run, for it to record the screen. I've tried to record the screen using the software that I have and it gives me a message that the computer's too slow. So that's that guys, sorry, can't record the screen so we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. So uh, let's see how it comes out guys. I'm anxious to see so let's just dive into it and let's just get started. We are over here at the Brother SE600. I know this device, this design is gonna take a long time to do. Let me turn on the SE600 power button on the side. Let's hit it one time. Like I said, I know this device, this uh, design is gonna take a long time to stitch out, so we're just gonna dive straight into it, guys. Uh, so bear with me here. Tap the screen, boom. Cancel that. It always asks you if you wanna um, recall the last design that you stitched out, so I said no to that. I'm gonna go ahead and go over and navigate to our new design, which is right here. Looks like it's gonna be really large, and let's see, let's just go to end edit. Let me see how long it's gonna take to stitch out. So it's gonna take 39 minutes. Woo, that's a long time. And the first color we need is black. So while the camera is wide, let me go ahead and put the black thread up in here. Boom. Watch how fast I do this. Boom. Watch my tutorial on how to thread this machine and you too will thread fast like me, Kimosabi. Boom, boom, boom. And it's not about how fast you thread it. I just, I can do it like this because I embroider like this stuff pretty often. So it's pretty simple for me. Thread is in, everything is good. Ready to embroider. Nice and tight. Everything is good guys. So um, first thing we're gonna do, this black part, this outline is gonna take 18 minutes to stitch out. That's what it says on the screen. So that we know we're not gonna waste time, we're just gonna go ahead and push the button and dive straight into it, guys. So let's start the black outline. Start the stitch, see how the brother SE600 handles this complicated design. This is probably the most complicated design I've done yet, so uh, stay tuned to see how this goes. Stitching out the Dominican flag type of thing. Looks a little small. I think the SE600 can handle it. What do you guys think? Comment section down below. You guys think this design is gonna come out good or is it gonna come out bad? About to find out. Playing down a backstitch, brother SE600. Testing it out. What's it gonna do? This thing is amazing, I can tell you that much. It hasn't let me down yet. Looking good, looking good, looking good. So the goal, guys, is by the end of the year, I want to buy the uh, the bigger one, the PE 800. I think it's the 880 or is it the 800? Yeah, I want to buy that PE, the bigger one, with the 5x7 embroidery hoop. So we're really going to be getting off of this. Make sure you guys watch all the ads. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And all that's going to make it possible for me to invest in the business and invest in the channel more and get machines like the brother PE 800 and stuff like that guys so uh yeah it's doing its thing I must say I must admit it's coming along real smooth looking real good brother doing a good job like it always does looking silky smooth the threads and everything everything's coming along good let's see how it turns out on the end Everything looks silky though, like a like a uh, spider's web in the morning. <laughs> I 
While that's stitching out, Dub Nation, we got a package that we got in the mail. Let's open it up together, shall we? I know exactly what it is, but you guys don't know what it is yet. So I'm gonna open this up so you guys can share some of the excitement and some of the feeling it feels to open up new stuff in the mail. So what do you guys think this is? I'm gonna show you guys right now. This is Black Flock HTV. These are the ones that I use to make my Black Bear shirts. Um, and they, they're just some of the dopest HTV that you can get because of the simple fact that you can iron right on them after they're pressed onto your shirt. And every time you iron your shirt after it comes out of the washer, it's just reapplying the HTV, thus making these shirts last so long i've never had a shirt that i use this vinyl on that the vinyl ever like even attempted to come off because like i said every time you iron your shirt you're just pressing the vinyl on because it's flock htv it's like fuzzy flock is what i call it but it's pretty much a cloth material so you know i think it's dope and i highly recommend it product links in the description below but that's what we got in the mail today. We got three of them so we can make some more Black Bear shirts because we're going to be doing some giveaways. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you're active. We're going to be start giving, doing some giveaways on a regular. I think we're going to go weekly with this, guys. So um, stay tuned. Let's get ready to change this up. It's now doing the outline, guys. And once again, I made it do a thin outline. I didn't want that much of a thick border on this specific design. So it's just going to do a thin one. I really think that the bobbin thread should be wearing out soon. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how I change my bobbins. And I've done it in previous videos, but for those of you who've never seen my videos, I'm gonna do it just so you can know how to change a bobbin because I like to do stuff repetitive because some people might not, this might be some people's first time watching these videos and they might think, oh my gosh, or what if you run into this problem or what if you run into that problem? See, and now it's time to change the bobbin, all right? You got that message right there. So let us change the bobbin together. We're gonna keep on rolling. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna press this button right here so that the machine can cut the uh, thread. The machine cuts the thread. I pull my, cut my lever up to raise my foot. I'm gonna swipe my scissors underneath one time to loosen up the thread and I'm just gonna loosen the garment. Press this button right here, bring it up and bring this out. Boom, let's get close guys. Now, I'm going to pull this lever right here, this little thing right here, I'm just gonna pull it. That pops up, release the door, go in here and get the old bobbin. Grab that old bobbin out of there. Boom, Get look in there, make sure you got all thread. You see um, this bobbin had a little bit more thread on it, but that's okay, because it's time to change it out. All right, look in there, make sure there's no loose thread in there. Boom, all the thread's gone. Grab a new bobbin from over here that I already had pre-wound, and we're gonna put the bobbin in this way. Um, yeah, the bobbin goes in this way. Thread is on this side of here. So we're just gonna drop that straight in there. It's in there. Now we're gonna come around. See, there's a little sleeve right here. You guys can see it. Let me get the camera closer. Sorry, excuse me for moving the camera. Guys, that's not very professional there. But um, there's a little thing right here, all right? We're gonna put this thread underneath and around, all right? So I'm just gonna put my foot on here, bring the thread underneath the thing, keep my, keep my finger on there, and now the thread is going around, 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 around. Make sure it drops down in the hole right there. Boom. Come on. Come on. Around, around, around. And we are good. And it cut itself off. Release. Put the door back on like so. I'm gonna do it so you guys can see it. How can I do it so you guys can see it? All right, I'm bring my hand from around the back. Boom like so put the door on press down move that thread out the way and our bobbin is wound i mean well we have new bobbin in there 
pull back a little bit so you guys see why it's wide shot because I'm about to put this back in. Flat on the machine and it goes right underneath when it's flat and back in here. Push and it goes down. Easy peasy. Now go back to the screen. It says, hey, the bobbin thread is almost empty. He said, okay, thanks for letting me know. And then now that we replaced the bobbin, we just resume. Well, no, we gotta put the foot down first. So put the foot down. Now that changed, now we're ready to resume. From where we left off. And you wanna pay attention to this part right here because if you've done it correctly, then you're just gonna get the black thread that's coming from the top. I've done it incorrectly before and what happens is the white bobbin thread actually comes up through there. So if that ever happens to you and you're getting the white bobbin thread or whatever bobbin color you're using down below up on your design, then you know just stop it immediately and put the bobbin back in more carefully the second time, all right? So I'm glad we uh, went through that again, guys. I like to show you guys stuff over and over again so you guys can perfect it. You guys can watch me do it several times. But this design is coming out exactly like I wanted it to come out. Um, the uh, stitch is exactly on the edge of the, it's just, it's, this brother is doing a great job. There's no reason why you should go and buy an expensive, um, buy an expensive machine at all. So yeah. All right guys, so the first color is done. The first color is done. The black is all laid out. So once again, I'm gonna show you guys how I switch this out. The machine is asking for the other color, which is the red 800. And I have my red 800 right here. As you can see, if you buy the correct um, thread, which I'll have in the description below, then all the colors will match up because they go with their brother. It's, I think it's called Smith Reed is the brand. Smith Reed is the brand. So, uh, okay, let me show you guys how to do it. Up with the foot. This time you don't have to cut it because after it's done, it cuts itself. So I swipe that underneath one time and the foot is up, which releases the tension wheels inside the machine. So you can just go ahead and pull your thread out and wind the thread back up for the next time you use it. So it won't be all over the place and all messy because we don't like to be messy when we're doing this stuff. Grab your new thread, really easy. Put it in here in the top and just come around. Like I said, if you want to learn how to thread the machine, watch my video on how to thread this machine. It's in this playlist in the embroidery playlist. All right. The video with the black bear logo on it. And like I said, I grab this with both fingers right here and I come around, and I hook it in and I pull it so that it locks into that little needle, that little uh, groove right there and bring it up in here. Like I said, I have a detailed video on how to do this down so it locks the tension wheels now the thread can't pull anymore pull it pull down on this lever right here in the corner boom it goes in it threads the machine grab your little scissors and bring the access of the loop there's a loop in the back of this needle so i grab put the scissors through the loop and bring all the thread through trim the access we are ready to embroider once again foot is down make sure of that and then we just press go that's it. That simple, guys. Moving on to the next part of design. Let's see what it's doing now. Oh, it's gonna write out the letters. This is gonna be thorough. Got the D there. Got the O there. We are kicking on gas, guys. And once again, please visit the merch store at allenaway.com. Buy some channel merch, help support the channel. Just test out my product so you can vouch for me and tell other people whether it's good or not, come back and leave a review of the, of the merch. Or you can make a review and put it on YouTube of my channel merch and tell people how it is. I think I personally have the best and most unique merch on YouTube. So that's alanaway.com. Uh, visit the site, buy some merch, help support the channel. Buy yourself a Black Bear shirt. It's summertime. Get yourself a tank top. It looks dope. The women really, really, really like it. I'm going to be giving away some um, all month long. So you could be a lucky winner. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you tell your friends to subscribe and stuff like that so that you can possibly win a Black Bear shirt. All right.
So guys, when we have a stitch like this that jumps, I'm gonna show you guys what I do. I stop the machine real fast, and I go ahead and I grab the embroidery scissors. I cut part of the stitch right here, just to, uh, so that it doesn't get, like, like, cause stuff is gonna get embroidered over top of this. And I don't want it to uh, get stuck in the design. So I just go ahead and I stop the machine real fast. I cut it and I keep it going. Like you guys see, got that thread out the way and just keeps it going. Just a little tip guys, so when you guys start doing this, you guys can keep it moving and everything can work out good. All right, that's done. Now let's put up the next thread. Looking good so far. I don't know about you guys, but this is kind of therapeutic to look at, to be honest with you guys. So, uh, yeah, that's just what I think. Sometimes this embroidery machine can make weird noises to kind of freak you out. So, uh, <laughs> just be mindful of that. We're going to clip these uh, little threads real fast. It's just hopping all around. I'm going to clip all of this stuff. Yeah. There we go, now's our chance. All right, so we're gonna stop this, clip all these little threads. Very large part of the design. Guys, to be honest with you, this is like a nice test of the durability and the endurance that the Brother SE600 and all the abuse that it can stand because um, all the videos that I've made so far I've been embroidering on this thing and this thing just keeps on going so uh, I want to start a series one day when I maybe, maybe when I make enough money on this platform where I just buy a machine fresh out the box and I just want to embroider on it every single day and make videos and see how long it takes the machine to die you know I'm gonna do that for you guys one day so uh, make sure you guys like, make sure you guys comment, make sure you guys have subscribed so we can see how long this machine will last under pressure. See if you can use it as a production machine because they swear that you can't. You know, when I went to, um, to uh, I think, I forgot what store I was at. I think I was at Joanne Fabrics and they were trying to sell me a Husqvarna machine. I just couldn't see myself paying $4,000 for, you know, $2,000, $4,000 for, for a sewing machine, I mean, embroidery machine, even though it might have been worth it, all the computerized technology, but it just seems like if something would break that there will be more difficult and more problems getting it fixed to me. But, um, and she said even that machine was not a production machine and you'd have to buy like the high end one that's like 15 grand or something like that, but I'm not paying that for that. You know what I mean? Of course, this isn't like, I'm not producing, like putting out stuff on volume with this machine, but I've embroidered quite a few things with this. And so far, you know, so far so good with this machine. Look at that, that was a weird few last stitches right there, but so far it's looking really good, guys. It's asking for the next color, so let's load it up. This part right here is absolutely crucial to the whole design. It's uh, one of the main parts right here, so. This has to stitch out good or else we might as well just chuck this whole thing. So far so good guys, I must say. Brother SD600. Purchase link in the description down below. Grab yours, use my Amazon link to purchase yours. It'll help the channel out a lot guys. So this part right here, guys, is the last finishing stitches of the design. Um, it's just putting the finishing touches on around the uh, island. This island right here, guys, is called Dominica. It's the nature isle of the Caribbean. It's where my grandparents are from. It's where my mom is from. It's my second country. It's not the same as the Dominican Republic. Totally different place, totally different area in the world. So, yeah, if you've never been to Dominica, it's a beautiful island, look into it. Great place to take a vacation, you won't get sick or anything like that. Um, very beautiful, very peaceful, 
beautiful beaches, delicious food, fresh food. Dominica, the nature island. Look into it right next to um, right next to uh, Guadeloupe. So check this one out, guys. I think the design came out pretty good. Let me get a little closer in here. I think the design came out pretty good. Could be a little more detail in here, but for that, we probably make the design a little bit bigger and it would be more detail. But for the most part, I would make this into iron-on patch and uh, iron it on to something, or I would sew it on to something. It'll be very, very unique, very custom, very dope. And once again, it's Dominica, the nature isle of the Caribbean. Not to be confused with the Dom Dominican Republic. It's a totally different place, guys. Um, you should visit if you get a chance to. The back of it, still got to neaten that up a little bit. But uh, I think the design came out pretty good overall. What do you guys think? In the comment section down below, I'm going to create an iron-on patch. I think it came out pretty good for my first try. Once again, um, this is a first try run that you guys got to see fresh. I think the stars could use more detail and um, the bird came out pretty okay um, but overall eh, pretty good. What do you guys think? Alright guys once again I have done it. Made a dope Dominica uh, thing. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time so I finally did it and uh, I think that this is something that my family could probably sell on the island to tourists or something like that and right, just to give you guys some ideas of what you guys can do with this machine and some things you could you can do uh, i'm going to put some freight check around the edges let that dry then i'm going to clip it real close um and i use tearaway stabilizer i shouldn't have used tearaway stabilizer because i got some um valuable information from one of my subscribers that he said if you're going to wear it if, if it wears, it doesn't tear, which means if you're gonna wear the uh, whatever you make, then you shouldn't be using cutaway stabilizer. You should be using actual material because it lasts longer. But in this case, it did actually work because I, I used, I stitched it, I used a tearaway stabilizer for the bottom base, but it's actually on a solid material and it's, I can see what he's saying. So when I trim the edges off of this, it's going to last a lot longer, guys. So what do you guys think? This is the uh, Dominica logo that I created just now using the Brother SE600, guys. Very, very dope design, if you ask me. I think it came out pretty cool. Leave it in the comment section down below. Let me make my thumbnail real fast. All right, guys, so it's your boy. A dub King Island Alexander on all social media. Don't forget to use my links in the description down below to purchase anything on Amazon. If you're buying anything on Amazon, just go down, use my link to navigate you to Amazon and press that purchase button. You can you don't have to buy the product that you click on. You can just navigate to Amazon, navigate away from the product that my link takes you to, and purchase anything you like. Greatly appreciated. And I get a little bit of credit, a little bit of commission for that. That helps me stay motivated. And helps me keep on doing these videos and helps me buy supplies so I can create more tutorials and instructionals kind of like this one guys it's your boy King Alan Alexander on all social media don't forget to follow me on facebook.com backslash adub productions and facebook.com backslash king adub visit the merch store at alanaway.com that's alanaway.com buy some merch to help support the channel it's your boy King Alan Alexander on all social media and I'm out peace see you on the next one Turn up that, crank it up. While I listen to the rest, we rockin' with the best, baby.